Good morning and welcome to the Battles Within. We're continuing our study in Hebrews chapter 8, and we're going to finish that up today by reading verses 11 through 13. Let's go ahead and read. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. In that he saith, A new covenant he hath made the first old, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. This again is at the end of the millennial reign of Christ, after the end of the tribulation period, and the Jews are back established again. And he says we did that in the first last verses, right? So verse 11, And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother. I wondered about this when I read it. What do you mean they shall not teach? They don't need to teach it anymore. <laughs> You know, it's like I have a I have a message that I I've prepared. I've not preached it yet, but it says that it, the the message is how to lose your faith and look forward to it. Because like, how? What do you mean lose your faith? Remember, faith, according to Hebrews chapter eleven, we'll get there eventually. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When you get to heaven, you don't have faith anymore. You don't need faith anymore because you have reality. What you know, you know. Faith is believing something that you can't see. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the things not seen. So that's about faith. So here he says in verse 11, They shall not teach everyone his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. They won't need to teach that anymore. Everybody will know that God is God. From the least of the people to the greatest of people will know who God is, he says. Verse 12, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. God is going to wipe away, he's going to forgive all of our unrighteousness, all of our sins. And their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. God is going to wipe away all sin, all unrighteousness, all of it. From not only the Jews that he's particularly talking to here in Hebrews, but to all of us. He will wipe away all of it, he said. In verse 13, he says, In that he saith a new covenant, he hath made the first old, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. He said the Old Testament, the old laws are not valid anymore. They won't be valid then. Because you can't live by the law. You can only live by faith. You can't be saved by the law. You can only be condemned by the law. You can't become righteous by the law. You can only become unrighteous by the law. You see where this is going? So he says here in Hebrews that there's going to come a day. There's going to come a day when there'll be no need to witness to anybody anymore. That everyone will know. You know, the Bible tells us that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee, even those in hell, will bend their knees and, and acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. Now, the Bible tells us that every knee should bow, every tongue should confess. That's today. But in that last day, in the days after the, when Jesus comes back, every tongue will confess. Every knee will bow. And then it says here, that again, in that verse 11, that they won't need to teach anybody anymore because everybody will already know it. It will be a statement of fact. See, the bottom line is Jesus is the Savior of the world and God is say, God is the creator of the world. Jesus actually created the world for the Father. The point is, Jesus is real. He exists. These are statements of facts. These are not fiction. Now, so where's the evidence of it? I know he lives because he lives within my heart. That's a song that we sing, right? But I have faith, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. I have faith, evidence of things hoped for. You know, I know that it's real. I know what I know what I know. So all we have time for today. So let's close in a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity. We can study Hebrews chapter 8. I realize, Lord, there's a lot of meat in here. A lot of stuff addressed to the Jews here in this chapter. But, Lord, we can glean the same truth. That there coming a day when we won't need to be witnessing to people anymore because we'll all know that he is and that he is the God that he is the Savior of the world. We will all know those things. There will not be a need to question it anymore. I thank you, Lord, that that day, I wish that day was today. But Lord, help us to spread the gospel the best we can. 
For it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time and your attention today.